Are you tired of this happening while taming a Mosasaurus? My name is Sikorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a Mosasaurus, and if you stick around I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed Mosasaurus. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Exceptional kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, cooked lamb chop, cooked prime meat. I would only recommend using kibble. You'll need around 400 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 1 and 6.5 and hours, a level 100 can take between 1.5 and, and 11 hours, a level 150 between 2 and a quarter and 15 and a half hours. These times are the difference between the kibble and raw meat. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the Mosasaurus to consume when it wakes up. The recipe for exceptional kibble is... 1 extra large egg, 10 mijo berries, 1 rare flower, 1 focal chili, 5 fiber, and 1 water. I would recommend making Lazarus Chowder for this tame. Lazarus Chowder makes you consume less oxygen for 10 minutes. The recipe for Lazarus Chowder is... 9 cooked meat, 5 savor root, 5 long grass, 10 mijo berries, 2 narcotic, and water. Since Mosasaurus is a deep sea creature, it may be worth it to have some points into oxygen in addition to the Lazarus Chowder, to make your diving times even longer. Also, if you're close to level 81, it might be worth it to wait until you get access to scuba gear. You'll also want to make sure you have some form of aquatic mount, such as the Ichthyosaurus, a Sarcosuchus, or some other swimming mount that allows for rider weaponry. The type of weapon you'd want to be using is going to typically be a crossbow with trank arrows. However, if you have access to a harpoon launcher and trank spear bolts, that would be the better option as it deals double the torpor damage of trank arrows. It's also possible to use a long neck rifle and trank darts. You normally can't use it underwater and I'll talk about that method a bit later. Condition the area around the Mosasaurus. Kill off any creature that could interfere with your taming. The big thing you need to watch for are Plesiosaur, which always spawn in pairs at the same general locations as the Mosasaurus. If you have tribe mates to help you, they can be defending the area while you start taming. The simplest method to knocking out a Mosasaurus is to use any quick aquatic amount, such as the Ichthyosaurus, to outrun the Mosasaur while you pelt it with Tranka ammo either arrows or spear bolts. This method is the most risky because of how powerful the Mosasaurus's bite can be. However, most wild Mosasaur can be outrun and outmaneuvered by an Ichthyosaurus. If you ascend too high, the Mosasaurus can lose interest in you and start swimming back down. This can give you a break to recoup if you need it. A safer method is to make a birdcage that I've used in previous guides, using behemoth stone gateways and stone pillars. Make sure you have an exit large enough for your mount of choice to escape from the cage. Since I'm using a Diplocalus, I can fit through these stone pillars just fine. If you're using an Ithiosaurus, you'll need to incorporate a stone gateway into your design. Lure the Mosasaurus into the cage and shut the doors behind it. Once it's inside, you're free to hit it with your Trank ammo of choice. Another very safe method is to take advantage of underwater resource caves. Mosasaurus tend to spawn near these caves, and it shouldn't be a problem to lure it towards one. You'll need a mount that is good at swimming and can climb out of the water, such as a Diplocalus or a Sarcosuchus. Once you're inside the air of the cave, you can use whichever tranquilizing ammo that you want, including trank darts from a long neck rifle, which is quite a bit more effective than trank arrows. You'll just need to be prepared in case the Mosasaurus tries to make a break for it just before it's knocked unconscious. I'll leave a link to the location of these caves in the description below.
Whichever method you decide to use, pelt the Mosasaurus with your Trank ammo until it's unconscious. Put kibble and narcotics in its inventory and maintain it so poor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video is helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Before I get to the neat facts, I'd like to thank everyone who voted in the poll last week, and I want you to know that I have a new one going on for next week. I will use the results of the poll as they stand on Tuesday, February 25th. The choices in the poll are Ichthyosaur, Tusotuthus, Bacillosaurus, Manta, and Electrophorus. I'm also keeping a list of any requested creatures I've been seeing. The first poll based on this list will be coming out next week. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. Their saddle ingram can be learned at level 78 and can be crafted in the smithy with hide, fiber, cementing paste, silica pearls, and metal ingots. There's also a platform saddle for the Mosasaurus, which can be learned at level 93 and can be crafted in a smithy with hide, fiber, cementing paste, silica pearls, and metal ingots. Mosasaurus also has a tech saddle, which is learned after defeating Alpha Broodmother. is crafted in the tep replicator with metal ingots, polymer, crystal, black pearls, and element. Their primary attack is a standard bite. With the tech saddle equipped and charged with element from the Mosasaurus' inventory, the melee attack toggles the Mosa's head cannons to activate. Now the primary attack causes explosive energy projectiles to shoot from the Mosa's head. The attack is semi-auto with a maximum fire rate of 2 shots per second. One element gives the saddle 25 shots. Of all the aquatic creatures you can tame, the Mosasaurus has the highest damage, highest health, highest weight capacity, and highest movement speed. Mosasaurus drop firework flare gun skins on death. Mosasaurus can gather prime meat, raw meat, and hide at a much better efficiency than metal tools. 
There's an alpha variant of the Mosasaurus, which is larger and more aggressive with double the base damage and 15 times the base health. On death, the Alpha Mosasaurus drops the Alpha Mosasaur Tooth, Black Pearls, and a Fireworks Rocket Launcher Skin. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.